Hello and welcome to the 2019 User Access Portal Review Webinar. Here I'm going to provide you with three simple steps to completing your user access review. Let's get started. To comply with the Texas Higher Education Coordinating Board's privacy and security policy, each institution's Director of Financial Aid must complete an annual review process for the THECB's list of designated portal users. Our three main financial aid portals include HelmNet, CBPASS, and MoveIt DMZ. Each institution's financial aid director should follow these three steps to complete the user access portal review. Step one, review your institution's user accounts listed on the user access spreadsheet provided to you by Financial Aid Services. Step two, complete and submit the required user access verification survey, confirming that all users have been reviewed. Step two must be completed by all institutions, regardless of any issues, errors, or updates identified during the review process. Step three, submit a system authorization form if you identified any changes or updates that may be needed to your institution's user account. Now I'll perform a live demonstration for completing the user access portal review. After you open the user access spreadsheet, you will find instructions for completing the review in the top left corner. You may proceed to step one, which is to find your institution's name under the institution listing located slightly to the right of the instructions. Scroll until you find your institution. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to find THECB University. Once you locate your institution, double click and the user access details will appear. The Director of Financial Aid is highlighted in pink. This includes acting directors or interim directors as well that we have on file. Verify the information for each listed user. So for example, my assistant director retired. So I am going to just do a note here that I need to make changes here because this person is no longer here. And this person is located, has um, a move it. She was a move it designee and she has a CB pass access. So I am going to list here um, just a mental note that I need to submit a system authorization form to remove this person. Once you verify all users, you can click on the blue tab in the bottom left corner called institution and it will take you back to your instructions page. So I've completed step one. Now let's move to step two. Step two is to complete the required user access verification survey. Now I can do that since I've confirmed all my users. The survey will portray at the top some similar instructions just as a reminder uh, what steps need to be completed. So we can move down because I read my instructions thoroughly on the spreadsheet. I'm going to move down to the 2019 X user access verification survey. So verification statement is item number one. You are confirming that you have reviewed your users. First option confirms that no changes or updates are needed. In my case, I'm going to select option two, 
confirming that I did review my users, but I'm required to make some sort of changes or updates. So I'm confirming here that I will complete that system authorization form within two business days of submitting my survey. I'm going to scroll up. Step three links you to the system authorization form. For memory's sake, I'm going to pull that up so that I'll remember to go back and complete it. So now I'm going back to the survey and you can toggle up top. So I'm going back to the survey to complete my survey and submit it. So I'm going to do that now. JGCB University is my institution's name. I'm going to enter my FICE code. I am the Director of Financial Aid for THECB University, so I'm going to enter my name. The, the, I'm entering my phone number. If I can type it in here. Uh, my computer has great memory <laughs> as I've tested this survey several times. So now I'm going to enter my email address. Now that that's done, I'm scrolling up just to make sure I did not miss anything. All six questions must be completed in order to submit this survey. I am hitting done. Once you complete your survey, you'll receive a message indicating that you will receive confirmation, a confirmation email within two to three business days of submitting your survey. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go ahead and complete my system authorization form because I don't want to forget about it. And I've confirmed that I'll do that within two business days. The first section, institution contact information, must be completed by the Director of Financial Aid. You'll see here I've completed this form with my information and I'm certifying that THECB University shall implement procedures to assure that only authorized users under this agreement have access for our primary financial aid portals. The director must sign the application. It can have a uh, electronic signature or a wet signature, whichever uh, works for your institution. Sign and date. Then we're going to move on. Each section fill out thoroughly and completely. It's uh, the first section is to add HelmNet access for new users. So since my associate director position has changed, I'm going to add the new person in, and I'm just um, going to see name and just whatever their name is. Be sure to add the phone number and their email address. So I've added who, whom I need to add or to give access to for the Student Loan HelmNet portal. I'm going to go down and look at the next section which is Update HelmNet Access. This section can be used if you need to update any information for anyone who's currently listed as a HelmNet user. So their, maybe their title changed or maybe they got married and their last name changed. Um, they may have moved to a different cubicle or office so their phone, phone may have changed. And here's the email address. So just make sure you list it thoroughly so we can make any updates accordingly. The next session section you can remove access so I removed I'm removing access in my scenario for the previous associate director um, and add the name be sure to do name and also uh, the reason so if the person retired or is no longer with the institution we do need that that reason to clarify why we're removing someone's access. Um, the next section would be move at DMZ. Directors of financial aid are the point of contact for this portal. 
So if directors are changing, you can add the new director as the point of contact and remove the previous director. If you need to update direct anyone's information, you can do that here. Um, just like up top, if they've got married, maybe name changed, maybe phone number or email is different. Um, and the director of financial aid can identify two designees for this portal. So if you need to add, remove, or change designees information, this is where you do so. After you've completed each section um, that's applicable to you, you can review the send information or submission information below. The submit button is used to just to submit this application. However, some institutions may have browser issues doing so. If you fall into that category, just know that you can scan and email this application to the email address listed below. So now I am going to go back to my instructions. I completed step one. I confirmed all my users, made any changes needed to be made. I completed step two. I submitted my survey and I completed step three. I identified changes and updates that were needed. So I completed that system authorization form and submitted it. Now, if you do not have any changes that are needed, your information is all good, you can disregard step three. The deadline to update user information is November 15, 2019. If you have any questions or concerns regarding the user access portal review, or if you have general inquiries regarding any of THECB secure web portals, you can contact us in one of three ways. You can use the institutional phone line and call us toll free at 844-792-2640 during regular business hours. You can send an online inquiry through Contact Us. If you use this online inquiry link, be sure to select financial aid question as the contact reason. Lastly, you can email us at user access at THECB dot state dot tx dot us just be aware this email box is only used to submit the system authorization form or for general inquiries regarding user access thank you for joining us have, have a great day